welcome welcome to my youtube channel this is dr nambi so today we are going right into our journey again of being debt free concentrating on good versus bad credit let's get right into our topic good versus bad credit what is good credit you might ask yourself so good credit is credit that you take you take and in the end it actually pays you money into your account not only that it increases your net worth not only does it increase your net worth it helps to increase your assets under your name bad credit on the other hand is credit that you take that takes away money from your account it's money that you are using to buy liabilities it's money that actually is being taken away and it also contributes to decrease in your net worth i'm going to be giving you examples of good versus bad credit if you are new to my channel and you are not yet on this channel please don't forget to like to comment and to join me as i continue to give you my personal advices on the journey that i'm taking to be debt free remember i'm not a financial advisor please do contact your nearest banker and your financial advisors in order to advise you on the right track to go with your financial journey let's get right into the examples of what is a good versus what is bad you know debt so or credit so good credit example you're buying a house and that house that you are buying example you put that house on airbnb or you put extra properties around your house and that properties that you've added with the new tenants that are coming let's say you are able to make more than about 10 to 15 you know thousand either rents or whatever currency you use that extra money can actually help you so that you can pay off that house early instead of waiting for the 20 year and it becomes an investment property example i did on my channel my self-catering accommodation it's a house we bought me and my husband now it's being used as an investment uh, property which is actually adding money into our account instead of subtracting money into our account the other example i can give you i always talk about my medical practice so when i started my medical practice i didn't have the cash in hand so i had to go to a bank i borrowed money after a period of one year i paid off that money and the business is still standing so the business is still adding money into my account so that is good credit it's credit that you buy to bring more money into your account it increases your assets it increases your net worth so that is the good credit bad credit on the other hand is let's say credit cards your loans that you use can be home loans so you buy this expensive house and you know it becomes a, actually a liability that expensive car becomes a liability um you take actually a loan so that you can be able to go on vacation that is um taking money unnecessary to cover for your vacation um which is actually bad 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 credit clothing account so you see people going on expensive you know um accounts then they join these accounts and then at the end of the day that is actually taking money away instead of adding money into your account so that is bad credit furniture imagine furniture in your house your bed and things like that you haven't paid for them that is actually bad credit so by all means if you don't have the cash at hand wait until you get the cash at hand to buy that which you want to buy so i think in a society where we just want everything you know microwave everything make it fast i think this is the time to post a little bit 
before you take that step into bad credit, ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it necessary? Can I live without this thing? Is it really a must? Is it a want? Is it a necessity? That will help you to make the right choice so you can be financially independent and you can be debt free. Thank you so much for following my journey on YouTube. Until next time, continue to support your doctor. I will see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>